the Australia Award Scholarship, which is a scholarship offered by the Australian government, is scheduled to begin on the 1st of February 2024 and will end on the 30th of April 2024 at midnight Australian time. And here are the countries that are eligible for application and their closing dates. So for Africa, you have this list of countries beginning from Algeria right down to Zimbabwe. And the opening date is from the 1st of February 2024 and will end on the 30th of April 2024. Here is a contact email for those who are from the African countries that have been listed here. And then you will go down, there is Bangladesh, Bhutan and a list of other countries. These are the countries that are eligible to apply for this scholarship. So if your country is not on the list of countries that have been listed here then you are not eligible to apply for this scholarship you equally have the email contact emails for the different countries as well as their start that is the opening date and the closing date the australia award scholarship is a scholarship that gives opportunity to citizens of participating countries to do either a full-time undergraduate or a postgraduate study at an Australian institution that is one of the institutions or universities that have been named as participating institutions for the Australian Award Scholarship. So you can only apply to one of those universities. For the participating institutions that are covered by the Australian Award, you can only apply to one of the universities that have been listed here. So you have to make sure you apply to study in one of the universities that have been listed on this list. They are the participating universities that can be funded by the Australian Award Scholarship. So you can only apply to study in one of the universities that have been named here, beginning with Australian Catholic University, right down to William Anglis Institute of Taffy. Make sure if you're applying for the Australian Award Scholarship, you apply to study in one of the universities that have been listed here. For the scholarship benefit, they'll provide you with full tuition fee waiver and then they'll provide you with a return air travel ticket. That is one way ticket to Australia and another way ticket back to your home country once you're done with your education in Australia. They would equally provide you with an establishment allowance that is to enable you settle down in Australia comfortably. And then they would equally make sure they provide you with living expenses on a monthly basis and that is still to be determined by the different departments. They would equally introduce you to academic programs that will enable you understand issues about living and studying in Australia. The scholarship is also going to cover your health insurance and then they would equally cover any pre-course that will enable you study English in case you are not coming from an English speaking country or in case you are lacking in English and then they would equally provide you with some academic support if it's needed to help you succeed with your academic studies. And then lastly, in case you need to carry out any research in another country or within Australia, they would be able to fund your flight maybe out of Australia to another country to enable you carry out research or within Australia if it requires you to move to another location they will be able to fund that project. For conditions to apply based on country it is very important to know that the conditions are different from one country to another so you must make sure you apply by following the conditions that have been listed for your country. For example countries in africa have a different condition for admission let's begin by looking at the conditions for admission for those who are coming from the african countries that have been listed that are eligible for application for the australian award scholarship so for those coming from any of these african countries that have been listed as eligible countries for application to apply for the australian award scholarship you must make sure you read the goals of the australian award scholarship it is very important that you read this information it's important and then they have priority fields of study you can only apply to study in a field that has something to do with this climate change agriculture and food security mining and energy foreign policy and international security gender disability and social inclusion you can only take courses that have something to do with one of the priority fields that have been listed here and also it is important to note that you can only apply to do a master's degree in australia it is for programs that will commence in 2025 
and here are the benefits for those who would be coming from Africa so if you are from one of the African countries that have been listed above you would receive these benefits here and then these are the eligibility criteria. it is important to note that you must be a minimum of 25 years of age on February 1st 2025 so this is the minimum age basically if you are 24 years old then you are not eligible to apply for this scholarship you must be at least 25 years upward and then you must have at least five years of postgraduate work experience basically they want students who have already finished their undergraduate and then they were able to work for at least five years and they've gained some experience which means you would have to provide documents to prove that you are a worker or have worked there are other conditions here that you must read and then there is also an English proficiency test that you must provide at least 6.5 being the least ban. But also it is important to know, it has been stated here, excluding candidates if their first language is English and they have undertaken their education in English. So if you can provide a document from your home country university that states that the medium of instruction was English, then you don't need to provide any English proficiency test like IELTS or TOEFL. So you cannot provide IELTS, you cannot provide TOEFL if you did your studies in English. And this is the opening and closing date like we talked about. And then this is the application process. It is important to note that you can only apply through OASIS and this is the link. And then there are a list of required documents that you must provide here. It is important that you make sure you provide the documents. They have their selection processes here that it is important that you read. There are two documents that you must make sure you read. Country specific documents and also the Australian award handbook now for the other countries it is important to know that let's say for example Asia if you click on Asia you have to go to country specific so for example if we take Philippines it will take us to this page and then you have to download the publication it's a document that has to do with the conditions that they will accept somebody from the Philippines so if you come from the Philippines and want to apply for the Australia Awards Scholarship, then these are the conditions. So this is the reason as to why they are providing this scholarship to people from the Philippines. And these are the fields of priority. They have a lot of fields of priority, beginning with agriculture, right down to trade and economics. So you can only apply to a program, a degree program that has something to do with one of the fields that they've named here. And then the level of studies, if you are applying for the Australian Awards, know that you can only apply to go and do a master's degree. So before applying, make sure you check your country and know if you are eligible to apply either for an undergraduate or master's degree program. It is very important because the conditions are different per country. So these are the benefits of the scholarship for people from the Philippines. And then these are the eligibility criteria. It's important to note, like I said, that the conditions are different. You must have resided in the Philippines for at least 12 months upon application. So if you were out of the Philippines and then went back to the Philippines to apply, you will not be eligible to apply for the scholarship. Then you must have at least two years of work experience. We looked at the case of Africa, it was five years. You must not hold another scholarship in australia or any other country be willing to implement a re-entry action plan and upon return from the scholarship so you must provide an action plan that you will undertake in case you get the scholarship go and study in australia the things that you would do after you must have gained the knowledge back in your home country because there is a condition that i will talk about at the end of this video so you should stick around also for those who might be interested in studying in new zealand i have this other video the manaki new zealand scholarship that is a scholarship for those who would want to study also in new zealand you might want to click the link up there on the top right hand corner of your screen to watch that video in case you're thinking about studying in the new zealand also you can equally try both new zealand and australia also it is important to note that if you want to have other opportunities about studying out of your home country you might want to follow me on facebook or instagram because i do post scholarship opportunities on my facebook page every day because it's impossible for me to be making videos about every scholarship so i just post those opportunities on my instagram and facebook there is a link tree down there on the description section of this video you might want to click on that link tree and then follow Follow me on Facebook and Instagram and also please do not forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel. 
So the deadlines are the same for all the countries. The application processes are different. So you must make sure you follow your country specific application process. So this is a selection process. And then this is the training that they would offer to people from the Philippines. So make sure you go and look at the different countries and then apply. It is important, like I said, that the conditions are different from one country to another. So for those who are coming from the Pakistan, their conditions will be different. You have to go and download the publication and then read it. For those from Pakistan, if you want to apply for the Australian Awards, you must read the conditions, the reasons as to why they are offering this scholarship. And then there are priority fields that have been listed here. It says it is offered to professionals working in sectors that support Pakistan to achieve sustainable development with particular focus on climate change, the empowerment of women and girls, water security, agriculture, infrastructure, and inclusive economic development. So it is important that you apply only to a program in one of the universities that we talked about that are partner universities in the Australian Awards Scholarship. Apply to a program that has something to do with one of the priority field areas that they have talked about here. And then for the level of studies, it is for those who would want to do a master's degree in 2025 in Australia. For those from Pakistan, you can only apply to go and do a master's degree in Australia. And then these are the scholarship benefits as well. They are the same. But make sure you read the eligibility criteria. It is important. The eligibility criteria are different from one country to another. So make sure you read the eligibility criteria for your country specific. This is the deadline. And then the application will be at OASIS. These are the required documents. So you must make sure you fulfill the condition. They say these ones are certified original. Yes, yes. Make sure you read and then understand the types of documents that you can use to apply for the Australian award. In case you feel like you want us to make a video, a tutorial on how to apply online, let me know. It is important to note that the scholarship will begin on the 1st of February. Comment in this video and let me know if you would want us to do a tutorial on how to apply online then we will make a video on how to apply for the Australian Award Scholarship online. And lastly, there is this document, the Award Scholarship Policy Handbook. It is an important document that you must read. If you really think you want to succeed in the Australian Award Scholarship, make sure you read the policy handbook. Despite the fact that this copy was printed in 2023, April 2023, you must make sure you read it. It is important. They have said you must read this Australia Award Scholarship Policy Handbook carefully and fully understand its content before signing the contract with the Commonwealth of Australia. It is important that you read this document. Finally, to end the video, it is very important to note that there is an award condition. Applicants who want to accept an Australia Award Scholarship will need to sign a contract with the Commonwealth of Australia declaring that they will comply with the conditions of the scholarship. Scholars are required to leave Australia for a minimum of two years after completing their scholarship. Failure to do so will result in the scholar incurring a debt for the total accrued cost of scholarship. So you would have to pay back all of the money that was spent on you while you were studying in Australia if you refuse to leave Australia after your study. So you might be thinking about going to study in Australia. You can get the scholarship, but know that if you finish your studies and decide to stay there and work, you would have to pay all of the money that was spent in educating you in Australia. That is one of the conditions that you must remember when applying for this scholarship. Know that you would have to return back to your home country. You sign a document that you return back to your home country if you fail to return back to your home country you would have to reimburse all of the money that was spent in educating you during the scholarship in australia that being said guys i'll end the video here like i said the manaki new zealand scholarship will equally begin on the 1st of february you might want to click the link down in the description to look at the details about applying for the manaki new zealand scholarship or look at the end of this video the video will equally be there that being said guys i will see you in the next video bye bye